So for emergency childbirth, just like any other skill, you're going to do BSI scene safe and you're gonna have your gloves on. You're going to approach, approach the patient and ask for consent to treat. Hi ma'am, my name is Victoria. I'm 911 was called, how can I help? Can I help you? And then she'll say, sure. We're gonna say, okay, I just need to ask you a few questions. It's gonna be a, a set of eight questions. They're gonna be paired off in twos. You're gonna ask two questions regarding the doctor. Are you under a doctor's care? And does the doctor expect any problems with this pregnancy? There are gonna be two more about the baby. When is this baby due and how many weeks along are you? There's going to be two more about contractions. When did contractions begin and how far apart are your contractions? And then two more fluid questions. Have you, has your water broken and do you feel the need to bear down? Dependent on those questions, we're going to assume that mom may be near labor. So once we determine that labor may be a possibility here, we're gonna let mom know, okay, we're going to um, check for crowning. Um, and once we do that, we're still, we're going to look and we're gonna just look for crowning. We're not gonna touch anything yet. We're just looking to see the crown of the baby's head. At the same time, we're gonna be looking for any abnormal presentations, which would be a foot or an arm. We're also gonna be looking for any other abnormal bleeding. So at this point, I only see crowning, no abnormal presentation, and I also see no prolapse cord. So I don't see the cord sticking out before the baby's head. So no prolapsed cord, positive crowning, no abnormal presentation. With Once we see crowning, birth will be imminent. So at that point, we'll let mom know that you know birth is imminent at this point. We're gonna go ahead and get our supplies ready. Um, you're gonna make sure you have your OB kit all laid out and ready to go. Once all of this is set up and ready to go, you're going to put on your nitro gloves. These are sterile gloves, so they don't touch anything else once they've been opened and put on. Once the gloves have been put on and everything's set up, we're now ready to begin the delivery. So we're gonna put one hand at the top to help prevent explosive delivery and another hand at the bottom right here at the perineum to prevent any tearing. Once mom is ready with the contractions, we're gonna tell her to push with each contraction. As each contraction comes, we're just gonna be holding baby Once the head has been delivered, we're going to quickly suction the baby's airway. So we're gonna suction from the mouth and then we're going to suction both nostrils. Once the airway has been suctioned, we are gonna notice the presence of a nuchal cord. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take two fingers and just grab around the cord and pull it off and around to where it's no longer restricting the neck. Once the cord has been removed and airway suction, we're gonna continue with each contraction to deliver it. With that, we're going to do a gentle rocking motion side to side at the shoulders. We're gonna apply opposing pressure to release the top shoulder and opposing pressure to release the bottom shoulder. So kind of like wiggling out. We're gonna wiggle the whole baby out. Baby has been delivered. So what we're gonna immediately do is we're gonna securely hold the baby and we're gonna take wipes and blankets and whatever you have to clean baby off. And we're gonna suction one more time. Same thing, we're gonna suction the mouth and we're also gonna suction both nostrils. Once the baby's airway has been cleared, the uh, baby has been cleaned off. We're gonna check responsiveness. At this point, we're gonna say baby has a pulse, which we're also gonna check down here at the brachial artery, but baby's not crying yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of flip, flick or tap its foot, kind of wake it up. Baby's gonna start crying and we will wrap the baby in a blanket to start conserving heat. Once that has been done, we're gonna get ready to cut the cord. We're gonna measure about six to eight inches 
from the umbilical cord away from baby. So we'll put one umbilical clamp here. These are your clamps. So one here and then another one two to four inches away from that. So the second one will go here. We're gonna wait till this cord is white and, pul and stops pulsating. And we're going to take either a syringe or umbilical scissors, whatever our kit comes with, and cut the cord. Once that cord has been cut, you can take baby and give baby to mom. And you can either start encouraging breastfeeding or allow for bonding. At this point, we're just gonna wait for the placenta to be delivered. To help encourage that, we're going to start massaging the uterus and encouraging the placenta to release. Eventually, the placenta will be delivered and it will come out with the rest of the cord. The placenta should come out complete. We're going to wrap the cord and placenta all together and place it in a red biohazard bag and mark the time of it to be delivered to the doctor at the ER to look over. Once the placenta has been delivered and baby is with mom, we're going to package them up and prepare them for transport. Mm -hmm.